Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and freaks of nature of all ages. My name is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson, and welcome back to State of Decay, Year One Survival Edition. Now, I did do a little bit before I started the recording. I already took Jace out on his Are training you mission. Are those survivors I mentioned? Um, yes, Lily, let me finish surveying. I already took Jace out on his training mission because we've already done a training mission with Sam, so there's Maybe. no use in... look around. Um... No use in doing multiple training missions when they're pretty much all the same. Um, oh, there's a bloater over there. So I just went ahead and did that one with him, and now I'm doing a survey, and then I'm going to check into rescuing survivors there's and things of that nature um, after I get the survey done. There's a building we want to check out. Just every now and then, you kind of got to, you know, look around so that more things are marked on your map got a hoard over and here. you have a better idea as to what resources you have available in the vicinity. I do like the surveys. I, I like the way the surveys are set up. Oh, there's a gun shop over there I didn't even know about. See, and this will, this stuff will all, you know, now it'll be on the map um, that these things are available and that they're around and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. I see some place worth a scavenging run. You know, and I still have not used my radio to call scavengers to a location yet. There's a lot of things that, that, that I'm capable of doing in the game that I haven't even tried out yet. More SWAT zombies. What we got down anything down there? Oh, there's something there. Another SWAT zombie. Got a horde over here. I think I want to try to either avoid that or run over it. Okay, where's more question marks? Where are more question marks? Oh, there's one. Guess that's all there is to see. Okay, so that survey's done. <clears throat> so let's head back to base. And then figure out where I'm going to go from here. All right, so I've decided to go ahead and do another stranger and uh, do a stranger in trouble mission. I fixed my wrench. I need to equip that because uh, I don't want it breaking on me. So let's go ahead and do the stranger in trouble mission, and then we'll we'll figure out where we want to go after that. But it looks like I've got to go into town for this one. And you know what I want to do first, actually? I want to set up some outposts on the corners. I want to take these corner houses and make outposts. So let's go ahead over here and see if I can turn... Let's see if I can turn this gun shop into an outpost. And there's a survey point above it, or beside it. There's a water tower, it looks like. There we go. There we go. So far, so good. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready.
Yeah, it sounds like I've still got some zombies in there somewhere. Let's stash that. What is that? That's a 45? Let's equip that one and stash that one. And let's stash that 40 caliber ammo. And we'll stash... Let's Actually, let's reload the pistol and see what that does for us. And that leaves a six. We can stash those as well. There we go, man. I'm getting better taking down them SWAT zombies pretty damn fast. Ooh. I'll run this home. Roger that. We'll be Shotgun. I don't know if I need... Oh, I'll take that 556. Five, I know I've got at least one M16 or AR, whatever. I, I know I have at least one weapon in storage that takes 556. Uh, takes five, five, okay, so that's pretty much... I've only got like two... Two places left? Two slots left. So let's go upstairs and see what we got up here. Very secure. No Zeds here. Looks like a good spot for an outpost. Should I tell everyone to pack up? Yeah, I'm pulling the trigger on this outpost. Alright, gun shop is a good place for an outpost because I should be able to collect all the gear there as well. And keep this area at least semi-secure. Actually, let's go ahead and see if I can climb this water tower without alerting that horde over there. Oh nope, not a happening thing. Fuck out! How's it going? Lots of zombies right behind me. Let's see how many of them I can take care of. I got that horde. There we go. There we go. That's better. There you go. Don't say I never gave you nothing. And there's still a few things I'm going to have to clear out of the back oh, you know, manually. Stuff. Let's see what I can... There we go. There we go. That's better. That's more like it. There it is, up here. Man, I told you this was a mistake. Jack should have known better than to go off alone. You want to go home? I didn't say that. Just, you should have known better is all. Where are they? What's up? We got a visitor. Where are they? Maybe they're in here. <clears throat> yeah, there they are. Guess we bit off a little more than we could chew. I'll Come help on. him look. We appreciate it. Last we heard from him, Jack should be somewhere in this vicinity. Let's get looking. 
Find the missing survivor. Okay, let me go search this first. I'm lucky they didn't hear that. Just a tussin. Well. <clears throat> okay, where to first? It's in one of these buildings over here. Anybody in here? Doesn't look like there's anything in here. <clears throat> Upstairs? No? Let's see if there's any gear over here I can use. Okay. Looks like no zombies were close by. Nothing there. Might get a rucksack out of this. Oh, I'm gonna get two fucking rucksacks out of this. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. Come back for that. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. And then we'll go find your buddy. Look, I just think we gotta look at the big picture here. We all like Jack, but let's face it, the guy is probably dead. Anybody home? Nothing. Shit, there he is. See you guys. You didn't think we were gonna leave you out here, did you? How did you even find me anyway? We had a little help. I, I don't know what to say. I'm not sure I would have survived out here on my own. We'll follow you. Let's roll. Oh, cool. I'm gonna have to read that later. Let's see what we got in here. Another rucksack. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. I'll go put this over we'll by the soon. other ones. Could be trouble on the left. And then go back to where my vehicle was. Cause where where did I leave my vehicle? Where did I leave my frickin' vehicle? Right here. slew of them. I wish there was some way to get those damn cars out of the way. So what happened anyway? Oh man, I was stupid. I was searching this garage. Look at all the dead bodies I left laying around when I heard the some of those cops from the courthouse start coming up the street. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they would have left me alone. But I heard those broadcasts. I didn't want to take any chances, so I jumped out the back window, and of course, what happens? I land right in the middle of a goddamn board. Please tell me that you're joking. I managed to get clear, but they were right on my ass, and I was low on ammo. All I could do was hole up in an empty house and hope that they got bored. Oh yeah, this is where I get introduced to Rebecca. That's Rebecca. our place. Thanks again for all the help. Hey, why don't you come inside? least we can do is feed you. All right. Where's my truck? Oh, there it is. 
There we go. I'm digging on that. There are still a few things to do out there. Yep, I know. So, we are going to go ahead and head back to home base. That wasn't a bad little episode there. Got quite a little bit accomplished. Uh, some training. Rescued somebody. Did, you know, that wasn't too bad at all. Oh, fuck. Another zombie horde? Jesus, hordes are everywhere. At least I don't have a shit ton of infestations. Um, and then when we come back the next time, we'll talk to Judge Lawton and talk to Sergeant Tan because I've been meaning to do that for the last, like, three episodes in a row. But... Please do not forget to check the links in the description below for the Disabled American Veterans and the Wounded Warriors Project. Let's please help support our veterans. If you like the video, then hit the like button, subscribe and share. Tell your friends and family to hit the like button, subscribe and share. Please don't forget to leave a comment. They're always welcome, good, bad, or somewhere in between. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. You guys are freaking amazing. I love you all. And until next time, this is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson saying peace, love, clean underwear, and happy gaming.